Thanks everybody for joining the call. Actually, we had a couple of good points. So if you were um, a little bit earlier than eight o'clock, you got some golden nuggets. Um, but with that said, today, uh, last Sunday, two days ago, we, dis we, we discussed about getting clients. Now, actually, it was about how can you describe your success? And I feel that if you get 10 uh, clients paying you recurring income every month you set yourself up for success and I can't not stress that enough because it turns it changed my my success and I see many others so going from zero to ten clients is much harder than the, from 10 to 20 because you have your system in place you know how to speak you know how to handle and you just multiply what you have been doing for the first 10 clients it's like when you when you learn to uh, it is much harder to learn to run than once you have once you're able to run to execute to run everybody get this I don't know if I was uh, clear with that. So it is much harder to learn to walk than once you are able to walk that you're walking. Uh, does that make sense what I'm saying now? So we are here, Tammy and me, to get you over that point to get those first 10 clients. Okay? And I see it when you get those 10 clients, you know, you, you don't need so much training anymore. You just need, you just use the tools, okay? So I'm very glad that Tammy keeps us educating about how to get clients and what to say and what to do. And she teach that on, on a college level, okay? And it's very rare in my mind that you can find a teacher on college level for the internet market world. So give me another example. Somebody would, would teach on a college, um, share it, uh, does it by herself or himself, and also teach it to the internet market community. And I think we have to be thankful that Tammy keeps putting that energy and sharing her knowledge to us. So with that said, I'd like to get, get Tammy on the call. Hi, Tammy, do you hear me? Yes, thank you. I'll go ahead and become the presenter. Yep. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. OK, let's see. So everybody should see the screen, and you should see the 21 words that rock your world. Does everybody see that? Hey, thank you. Hey, I'm the bomb. Thank you, whoever said that. Charles, <laughs> great, thank you. Uh, just to let everybody know, if you were here on Sunday, don't worry, because I have new stuff, and I also have some refresher material, because like Jack says, I am an educator, and what I do know is that the learning process is all about you learn it, you engage with it, and if you apply it, it becomes part of you. So that's why I'm always excited when Jack invites me to provide training because I see really big results coming out of this group. And, and um, Arlene uh, had to leave early, but uh, she actually had a major breakthrough on Sunday evening and she has this is what when Tuesday <laughs> so Sunday she had a major breakthrough Monday and Tuesday she's been out pounding the pavement 
meeting people and applying the knowledge that she learned on Sunday. So that's, that is inspiring when people do that. And I've heard from other people, I got a really nice email from Paulette Nurse today. She's a very active member of the local Theme Jack community and I won't go into it, but she just wrote a nice note saying that she took what she has learned from me and, and applied it and that she really likes the fact that we hold you guys accountable the fact that we have the Sunday and Tuesday trainings, that is actually a form of accountability. That if you're looking for, you know, hey, are you doing your work? Are you moving forward? You have that Sunday and Tuesday opportunity and everything. So I want you to pay attention for those of you who are looking at Facebook or something else. It's, see, uh, GoToWebinar tells me if you're paying attention or, or if you're not. So. First of all, I'm going to reiterate the 21-word email, and I wanted to make sure that you understand that I did not come up with this idea originally. I got it from my colleague, Ian Brody, but what I have done is, what I do is when I learn something, I tweak it and I turn it into to my own stuff, into my own words. So here is the 21 word email that I shared on Sunday and this subject line and this simple simple email works like gold so it's simple thought you might find this useful hi and then their name so hi Jack are you still looking to grow your online business you know like if I was writing to him thought you might find this useful the why would be something it could be an a, a link to an article, it could be a link to a video, it could be a photo, it could be some piece of information that you could email to someone that would be useful to them. So don't get trapped into thinking that it has to be any one thing. This little simple 21 word email, it can be used for email, voicemail, snail mail, you could turn it into a voicemail, or you could use it in person. So just because it was originally an email, open up your mind to go, oh my goodness, I can use that in a lot of different ways, you know, in any form of communication that you might have. So I'm just, I know many of you were here on Sunday, so I don't want to dwell on this, but I'm going to give you two more emails that I personally have used and I'll tell you a little bit about what happened today um, when I sent this one. Um, this is a variation of that 21 word email but what I do and I use this a lot if somebody knows me or I've spoken with someone or I'm just trying to remind them who I am because uh, this works really well. I put my name into the subject line so that even though it says it's from me, it's like in case they're on a phone or something and they can't see who it's from, I put my name into the subject line and then I say video you need to see. And again, it's very much like the other email thing. And in this case, I'm using it as a thank you for attending a speaking event that I just did. So I would say thanks for attending the SCORE workshop in Naples, let's say. Thought you might find this useful and I'm inserting a video and in this case what I did is I created a short reputation type video for them, a review video and so it's all about them. Remember the big secret whenever you're meeting someone is it's all about them and it's not about you so it's because we all love it when it's me, 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 me. So I sent this to somebody this morning uh, who had actually attended my Naples score workshop and if you remember my score workshop was in May. 
so I've been communicating with different people. You know, I don't bombard them with daily emails, but I've been communicating every week or so. So in this case, I sent it to one of the participants, and I had talked about video during the workshop. So I sent them a video, and I said, would you like to know more? Well, I get an email back saying, yes, I, I would like to know more. So I proceeded to tell them that I could optimize their existing videos on their YouTube channel because I had already looked. I, I'm a big researcher person. I knew that they had 18 videos on their website. So I said, well, I'll charge you like $50 per video to optimize it. And they wrote back and said, what does that mean? I said, I'll give it a keyword loaded title, I'll fix your descriptions, and I'll add the new YouTube card to each video. So they sent back links and their login to their YouTube channel for seven videos to, for me to do those little minimal tweaks to. And I said, great send the money to my PayPal account. Within a couple minutes, I had $350 in my PayPal account, and it took me less than two hours to tweak videos they already had on their YouTube account. And that all happened because of a simple video that said, video you need to see, where I basically suggested to them that, gee, you might want me to make your videos more optimized. And as I did the work, I was, you know, paying attention because I had to go to their website and get their address and everything. And what I noticed is there is a huge opportunity for me to, number one, suggest to them, hey, I can make you more videos that you haven't thought of making. Number two, oh, I can optimize the rest of those videos that you have, you know, so I'm looking at it and now I've got the possibility of having $350 to $750 ongoing repeat income off of one video. That's the power of the simple little video. So I wanted to share that with you because I was really excited that, you know, I, I can say, hey, I got a job, <laughs> you know, because Jack is always saying, you know, how, how are you doing? And I, I like to share, and I don't always share what I actually do. And most of my business, I, I get, I do websites, simple websites, and I do a lot of video opti marketing or optimization. Um, so here's the third golden nugget that I'm going to give to you. And then I am going to talk to you about where to find clients. And I'm going to give you some more examples of the power pitch. And I'm going to talk about our training workshop that's coming up tomorrow, where I'm actually going to give you a 90-day workshop plan on how to grow your business based on my personal experience and my 2020 hindsight and what I would do today if I were to start over again what I would do in the first 90 days so that I would become the go-to person in my market for whatever product I decided to sell. And I, that's what I'm going to share on Wednesday. But this third one is what I would say is an excellent follow-up. Again, because we all send people information for follow-up. So in this one, it's did you get the info I sent? And the info could be, you could actually put a couple keywords into that. Like, like if you're saying, did you get the website info? Did you get the mobile friendly test I sent? Did you get the uh, reputation? Did you get whatever it is that your product or service is? One or two words in that so that when they see that subject line, come across, they will go, oh, yeah, I remember that. Um, I, they said they were going to send me that. 
So again, the friendly hi with their name. And then you're saying thanks. Thanks for asking for X, whatever that information was that, that you promised to send them. Did you find it useful? That's just a little courtesy sentence and ignore that colon there. Uh, here is some additional info to help you to grow your business, to understand the situation, to solve your problem, whatever, whatever it is, more additional information to help you or more information to help you. And then you, of course, could insert the new article, a PDF, a video, and then would you like to meet, would you like to call, give a call to action about how you want to move forward with whatever it is that you're trying to do. So the big secret about whenever you go and talk to people or send them an email, you cannot rely on one email. That's why when Jack said, are you interested in retargeting, think about that. The power, if you were retargeting starting with an email, and then you had a campaign and an ad ready to go. And with retargeting, it could be Facebook, it can be Google. There's a lot of ways to use that. So retargeting is something that back five or six years ago, I don't even think it existed. You know, not in the form that it exists now. Now there are retargeting can really um, turn a cold prospect into a hot prospect because it has what they call the Ijat effect. Having an Ijat is, I don't even know, it's like, I see you everywhere is what that Ijat effect is. is I see you everywhere. Gee, you're everywhere. And that is the effect that you want because they're saying, wow, I, I saw you here and here. And of course, you, they're not just going to be seeing your ads, but if you create a solid platform of authority and credibility for yourself, they will see you everywhere. People see me everywhere. You know, they see me on LinkedIn. They see me on Twitter. They see me on Facebook. They see me in videos. They just see, you know, it's like, gee, Tammy, do you ever sleep? Because I appear to be everywhere because I do... I have that system in place to make it appear that way. So those are the three golden nuggets. So I, I wanted to give you three in case you had been here on Sunday. I wanted to give you something fresh and new and different. So I'm going to go ahead and move into the beyond the power pitch. Again, nobody likes to cold call. Do any of you on the call tonight uh, like to cold call? Uh, Jack had asked this question before, and I know Charles says no, <laughs> not at all. I am an introvert, and I've told you guys this before, and I, I know some of you don't believe me because, you know, here I am speaking to you. An introvert is just somebody who gets drained by interacting with people. It's not that we don't like people, it's just that we have to recharge, and our recharging has to be more solitary, where some people, extroverts, they get energized by contact with other people. So I'm, I happen to be an introvert, and, it's kind of, and, and I've also, I mean, I'm the person, if I go to a party, I sit in the chair with a pillow in my lap. That's me. I'm, I get very quiet. But if people come and talk to me and engage with me, of course, I'll talk all night long. That, that's the, the way it is. But you don't ever, ever, ever have to cold call. Again, you really don't. I, I don't cold call. I go out and speak. I go out and I create reasons for people to call me or people to come to me and say, Tammy, can you help me? And that's what I, I'm trying to impart to you is that if you can just grasp the concept of you becoming the, the magnet to attract people because you being, bring such value, 
nobody will ever mistake you for a commodity because being thought of as, oh, yeah, you're just trying to sell me a website. Oh, yeah, I can get a website from the guy who called me from the Philippines. I can get a website from some guy in India. I can get somebody to do this for cheap, cheap, cheap. That is not you. You want to become the valuable resource because you're not selling them anything. You're educating them. You are their advocate. You're helping them navigate the deep pool of online marketing. Just like that retargeting. Can you imagine if you were able to go to your clients you know, you have all your website clients that you've already started and you say to them, okay, well, we're going to put together a, a retargeting campaign for you. And then, of course, you can call it whatever you want, you know, retargeting or client recapture or whatever, and you explain to them how it works and they'll go, you know what, that I know about that because I was looking at a new car and all of a sudden I kept seeing ads for for I was looking at Toyota and all of a sudden I started to see Toyota ads everywhere. They will grasp that concept like very quick and they'll say, yeah, I want some of that. And there you go. You brought value. You're the solution provider. So there's so many ways for you guys to make money. So like I said, never, 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 ever, ever cold call again. And if Obviously, that is not grammatically correct, but I'm trying to drive home the point. And I'm going to ask this question again because so many people never, ever stop and say, who am I and what services do I provide, what value do I bring, but then it's like, who is your audience? Earlier if you weren't on the call before the recording, we were talking about different niches, which niches were the hot niches. Well, if you don't know who your audience is and who you want to serve, then it really doesn't matter what are the hot niches if you don't have a value and a service and know what you personally bring to the table and know who your audience is. Me, I've had in my little small geographical area, which really the town I live in is what, less than 50,000 people, so I actually serve a much broader area. But what I did in the beginning to find out who I thought my ideal audience was, because I was going after a general local business audience, I looked at other people's media. I looked at billboards, I looked at magazines, newspapers, radio, and I started to notice who was spending money and who wasn't. The people who are not spending money, they're not going to spend money with you or anybody else, but the people who are spending money, they need you because they, all they do is, and I've watched it, uh, the salespeople come in from the newspaper, from the TV station, from the radio, and they walk in the door and they say, hey, it's time to renew your contract. Um, I'll give you, you know, for $25,000, I'll give you so many spots on cable and we'll throw in the production. Or the newspaper guy comes in and says, okay, well, we're having a special. We'll give you a full page ad once a month if you buy a contract of 13 weeks, 26 weeks, or whatever. That's the way media works, 13-week contracts. And they're bombarded with that. So when you come in as the marketing consultant and you're saying to them, I'll tell you what I can do. I can help you integrate all of your media so that you can cross over from old school to new media, which includes, let's take a look at your website. Are you using Google Ads? Are you using Facebook? You don't have to be that advanced in the beginning. Start with your website and your hosting. Many of you are afraid of the hosting. The hosting is not scary because the host, like 
host gator or bluehost or host nine which is a good system i've used them all and they will help you with the parts of the hosting that you need to worry about which is your website up and then of course if with your local theme jack uh, wordpress you can make sure that you have good security plugins in it so that you protect it and then pretty much you might check it once a month and if something does happen it's normally because of over usage and you just have to know that oh I can fix that or Oop, better call the host provider and then it gets fixed it is not a difficult thing to provide a high quality website and the hosting because if you give away the hosting you're meaning it means you're giving away your in with that company and you become a commodity you just become oh yeah I had a website made they're long gone oh will you make a website for me and I've seen that happens where, where these people it's whoever walks in the door you know if it's the cute girl they'll buy from her or, or I mean if you have to keep your foot in the door with them and have them looking to you for for their marketing and if you do that then slowly but surely that $250 client becomes a $500 client then they become a thousand dollar client and then it grows from there and again if you have 10 do the math this one of the problems I always had because I was a little bit afraid of math I didn't do the math one day though I forced myself to go well how much money would it take to make a hundred thousand dollars in a year which is officially a six-figure business so you take a hundred thousand dollars and divide it you have 52 weeks and then you come up with a number how much money do you need to make every week you know every month and you can actually divide it up and depending on what you're selling and how you're selling it, it I think it comes out to if you have I think nine clients at a thousand a month I think that is a hundred thousand and if you have 17 clients at 500 a month that's a hundred thousand so think about that a little less than 10 and a little less than 20 depending on your monthly amount could be a hundred thousand dollar business and you know you can do the math from from there I just want you to think about that but number one do you know who your audience is and where do they hang out Tammy, and I want it, yes. Tammy, can I yes. interrupt for a minute sure. because you started about hosting and you know and you don't need to worry because there are good providers so actually I'm working on it to make it for you guys easily so I'd like to get some feedback at this point so would you like to have an online portal where you just can install a local team jack and that niche get installed on an Amazon high speed in the cloud server and a lot of things goes automatically like backup if the website is live update plugins all those kind what you think you know um, what you need what you need to offer you know hosting to a client and instantly you are the professional because it get backed up and it can get restored easily it will send you a text message or an email when the website is down from one point you can update plugins easily so all those things what you need to have in place is a one-click system and a lot of things happens automatically so I didn't plan to share this but uh, Tammy brought up a good point the service you always can provide and start to make recurring uh, income of it so just want to get your guys feedback is this something what you like that I start to offer 
for you guys that you can offer this to your clients and also start to use it as um, as a service as a one for your for you it is a one click action and you are trusted that the website is very fast get backs up is on a cloud basis, so this, the website actually runs from a service close to your client, whatever, wherever you are located. And if plugins need to be updated, it is one click. So I, th I see a lot of positive comments, so that motivates me to bring, to finish that. Okay. So this is coming. This is in the works. Thanks, Tammy. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. I was on a roll. Now I'm <laughs> 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 so, about to get my energy back up again. So, so what I was talking about, and anyway, back to that that concept. That really is good because I have talk to many many people about the websites and one of their big fears is oh my god I, I'm afraid to offer hosting so there's a problem solved so that when you can eliminate any of these little fears that you have you know it's like the quality of your WordPress it's solid you've got your hosting it's solid then you can focus on making money and so that's what that is really cool so let's talk about um, somebody, I was just looking through the questions, and somebody's going, well, how do I find clients if I don't call cold call? Uh, this is how. Cold calling is, it's like a dirty word. It, it's Nobody likes to go walk into a room where they don't know anybody. That's why we've spent a lot of time, we've actually spent, I don't know, three weeks or so talking about what to say if you think about it. And, and then uh, I'm trying to get you to understand how you have to have this solid foundation of not only what to say, but how to say it and when to say it and how to follow up. The follow up, to be honest, is the hardest part. Having your email follow ups in place having your autoresponders in place, being ready to do business. You know, some people, they, they're afraid to sell because how do they fulfill it? Well, you don't need to worry about that because you have a way to fulfill everything. The biggest thing that I discovered is trying to provide too many services too soon before the no like, trust factor has been developed with people. But let's talk about where do you meet people so that you can create warm, real relationships, both online and in the viral world. I have many, many friends I've never, ever met personally. I've never met Jack personally. I don't, maybe I did. No, I didn't. We were at the same event, but we didn't meet. So, but there are people I have actually never met in person, but we have close, friendly, relationships because of the online world. But in the real world, you actually have the opportunity, Chambers of Commerce, Business Networking International, the Relationship Building Network, LATIP, which is another referral network, Kiwanis, Lions Club, Rotary, Toastmasters, uh, Visage.com. I want to tell you that in a local community, and even if you are somebody in, let's say, Europe or Australia, South America, Canada, you can still do business with local businesses in the United States, even if you are not able to meet them in person. And I've actually done videos about how to do that for Chambers of Commerce, Business Networking, and Kiwanis Club and Rodeo, so Rotary, don't think that just because you're not in a position 
to go out and meet people live that it can't be done. That there are a lot of ways. So I just want you to like erase that idea out of your head. But there are speed networking events, the Service Corps of Retired Executives, which is SCORE, uh, Small Business Development Center, which is SBDC, all part of the SBA in the United States. I do a ton for SCORE online and in person. I do a ton for the Small Business Development Center at Lunch and Learns. I've even traveled all over the state of Florida talking to fishermen for, about their marketing for the Sea Grant program. So there are all kinds of opportunities for you to get in front of people either in, in a live or a virtual situation. I actually did a virtual presentation for Sea Grant where I was in on the west coast of Florida and they were all oh, I don't know, way on the other northern Florida near Jacksonville, and I did a, a live presentation to fishermen for their Sea Grant program. There's also meetup.com groups, which is a combination of people hanging out online, but then they go meet in the real world too. But all local communities, and, I, and it's probably around the world, but I know for sure it's in the United States, there are meetup opportunities. There are marketing business growth seminars. I mean, there are so many conventions and um, association meetings that you could go to. And an example is like um, Glacier Kennedy's Insider Circle. There are small business seminars and workshops. There are thousands upon thousands of associations, both for-profit and non-profit, that have conventions. And you can go either as a participant and walk around and talk to people, or you can have a booth. Of course, that costs money. But you can actually go hang out. Let's say that you wanted to target attorneys. So you would just look up online when they were going to have their conventions find out how to go because they normally have open um, type events where vendors set up and people can walk around. Well, you could go walk around and just talk to people and see what, you know, learn the language of your potential clients I think is really important. So there are plenty of places that you can go to meet people in person and you have your power pitch. And when you have your power pitch, you know exactly what to say in the first 10 seconds, 30 seconds to get them to start asking you questions. And once you have that power pitch, you have confidence, and it's a lot easier to talk to them about how you can bring value to their business. And that's what people are paying for. They're not paying for a website. They're paying for what the website can do for them. And most of them don't even know that they have a, an online brochure. That's what they think a website is. You have to educate them about the reality of what a website should and can be for them, which is a money-making machine. They need to understand that. I'm a really big believer in live events and creating your own live events, meaning Go do a Chamber of Commerce talk. Go do a Lunch and Learn. Go be a guest at a BNI where they only give you 30 seconds to introduce yourself. Go out into the world and create workshops. I've done probably 50 or more, I think it's closer to 100 workshops about everything from the top 10 things you need to know about online marketing to reputation marketing to 21 ways to improve your your website, to how to do video marketing. I have a presentation on authority marketing. I have one on directories. I actually got a dentist client from a little presentation I did at a chamber about QR codes. And the part about that presentation is to this day, I have a local printer that the only thing she got out of that presentation was, Tammy does QR codes. I will refer people to her 
if they want a QR code. And I've tried to explain to her that I do much more than that, but she's got it locked in her head. But, you know, so you always want to be sure they understand you're much more than what your presentation is. But what I'm trying to point out to you is you have so much opportunity as a local marketing consultant starting out with the best selling thing I've ever had, even though I was trying to sell them something else, like I, I always wanted to sell them my video marketing. You know what they all wanted? A website. They all wanted a website. So it's like, oh, okay, I'll make you a website. You know? But that's what they want. That is your most, that is the best foot in the door product of all the foot in the doors that you can have. And then of course, virtual networking, organic and paid. And again, organic would be you talking to people on social media, using YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, whatever works to hit your target audience and then of course paid marketing don't ever feel like you can't afford to market your business because you can afford to market your business and it's getting to the point where you can't afford not to do some type of paid marketing that's where the retargeting system would come into place is that you might have to spend a little bit of money to get that retargeting set up. So I'll just recap a little bit. We know, we know what to say. We know where to look. And I'm going to take a little break here. And I'm going to tell you about the training that I'm doing on Wednesday. And then I'm going to come back and share with you some of the breakthrough moments that happened Sunday. So I'm going to change gears here a little bit. Tomorrow night, I'm actually putting out together a workshop strategy session for my Power Pitch Pro 2 members. And some of you are from Power Pitch 1, where you learned what to say. I'm doing the where, where to go find your clients. Tomorrow, I'm talking about clients, customers, and cash. And I've, put, I've been working really hard on this. It's a 90-day plan, step-by-step, step, how to get a new client this week and every week. And I'm going to talk about what I do to get money coming in the door and the things that I find that if I do it every day, and I'm not talking about working from 8 o'clock in the morning until midnight. I'm talking about little things that you can do no matter if you are a part-time person and you only have an hour a day. I can tell you what to do with that hour every day. Or if you are somebody who's full-time and you, and you realize that you're wasting a lot of time just not really doing anything, the things that you have to have, like your mindset, how you have to be thinking, the methods, and then about how to think about everything you do. Does, is there money coming from it? Are you planting seeds? Because some of the things I do, I call those, I'm planting my seeds. And I know that it might take a month, three months, it might even take a year for some of the seeds I plant to bear fruit. And then there's other things that I can do, such as a simple email to people I've already spoken to to create money sometimes in minutes, if not hours, if not a couple days by foot in the door type strategies. And I'm not sure if I've ever shared my 17 foot in the door strategies with this group or not, but I have shared it with other people. But I have actually more than 17 foot in the door strategies because when I deconstructed the local theme jack websites, I found 21 different ways to make money just off of that website. And that isn't even including a lot of other things that I could add to it. So I know I've got at least 21 ways to generate cash flow just off of a local theme jack website and 
the more the easier that Jack makes it on us by providing you know would you like hosting yes would you like automatic updates yes would you like more niches yes would you like this that and the other thing it just makes it easier for us to focus on the money part of it instead of the oh no how do I do all this stuff technical part of it so that is happening tomorrow 8 o'clock and the only caveat on it is that you have to be a member of the Power Pitch Pro in order to get access to this webinar. I have planned it. I've got it set for three hours. I'm hoping it doesn't go three hours, but I, I'm going to go through my presentation and then, of course, take questions so that I can answer them. And yes, I'll record it but it's not going to be something you know, like a replay for the world because this is a 90-day step-by-step plan that I'll be sharing. So let me get back into the, what we're talking about. Arlene, Arlene on Sunday had a major break, breakthrough. Arlene, uh, just to give you a little history, she's been a member of the group for as long as I can remember. And she wrote a, a note that kind of told me part of her problem. She's been being mentored by SCORE. And SCORE is your retired senior corps of retired volunteers. I've talked to a lot of SCORE people. You know, a lot of the SCORE people come from their retired executives and they may be in their, if they're in their 60s, I doubt it. They're probably more in their 70s, 80s. And these are people who were executives back in the days when computers and the internet were, didn't exist or it was in their infancy. So they give advice based on old school stuff. Sometimes old school stuff works if you bring it into 2015. So Arlene was stuck because she didn't know what to say and she was feeling like she had to target big attorneys or dentists or have a focused niche. When in fact, what Arlene has right in her own backyard within walking distance, because she had some obstacles, I think she told me she didn't have a car and she, wherever she lived has heavy construction and these small little businesses are suffering. They're in pain. They, nobody can come to them because they don't know how to get to them. So Arlene, she had a breakthrough and she wrote her power pitch, I help small businesses establish or improve their online presence so that customers can find them when they search with their mobile devices. Okay, so she's now what she said, and I wish she was here on the call, she goes, I know what to say. I have, I now can go out, and she actually went out and talked to people. She actually went out today, and she started talking to people without fear, because she knew exactly what to say, and she said, I've got a connection with my local dentist, and then I think she said she had another uh, connection with some other small business in this construction zone. That's the power of knowing what to say. So I just wanted to give Arlene a, sh a shout out and use her as an example of someone who's having a major breakthrough. And then I just wanted to reiterate some of the power pitches that we had. We had probably 30 or more people send in their power pitches um, after one of the calls about a week ago. And I looked at, and I did, I looked at every single one and I actually wrote everybody back and I edited their power pitches for them. But what I noticed a lot, the number one mistake that local marketers make is they start out, hi, I'm Tammy Patzer, I'm an internet marketing consultant. And it's like, oh, great, somebody's going to try to sell me something related to the Internet. You know, and they immediately, arms crossed, close you down. 
remember it's not about you you always when you're talking to other people you always are thinking it's about them so for guys think about what you would do to impress a woman that you wanted to date and women think about what would you say to impress a guy you wouldn't be talking all about you because then they would think you were just a narcissist you would be asking them questions about them but you have to say something to get the conversation started so and these are actually from people who were on the call so what I said of course was eliminate I am an internet marketing consultant or any reference to you being in sales or marketing and go straight to the I help I help online businesses get more clients and customers from the net and improve the ROI on their promotional budgets so again remember to use words like if you're using ROI make sure that the person you're talking to knows what that means so it might be better to say improve the return on investment just so that you know that they know what you're talking about because a lot of times even the CEO of a company may not understand the language of the internet they probably understand language of money like ROI and stuff but they're not going to understand acronyms like if you start talking about um, you know things related to websites like bounce rate and things like that you can't expect everybody to understand those terms so you want to speak a little more general so you could also say I help business managers get all the internet traffic and customers they want so there is focus business managers are you getting all the internet traffic and customers you want I can help you get closer to that goal there is a question where instead of coming out with a statement you might ask them that question so these are all variations and what I want you guys to always understand is it's write it so that it's comfortable for you because don't use my words or someone else's words you know tweak it to the point where it's how you would say it in in, in conversation because remember this is a conversation here, here is an example and, and this is how I edited uh, this so hi my name is Tammy I'm a marketing consultant so of course I edited that out and I said instead it should be hi my name is Tammy and I help local businesses get more clients I mean you could stop right there and the person you're talking to would probably say really how do you do that that's the idea and that would be think about if you've listened to me before the attention span of a goldfish is eight seconds humans have a smaller attention span than a goldfish now because of the internet and the fact that we're always trying to multitask you know we're always like we're watching TV we're talking on the phone we're doing our Twitter we're doing our Facebook and we're on a webinar we're just we're trying to do all these things and the truth is that if you're doing something else while listening to me you're not gonna remember anything you're gonna you know, yeah she said something about something you know and then you can answer the question I do that by creating a massive online footprint with digital media that best fits the business it may include mobile friendly websites video ads directory listings it really depends on the business the reason that I put mobile friendly websites video ads directory listings in red is that can be I would say no more than two or three of your primary best services that you actually want to sell and it also means that you can easily adjust this to fit whatever your need is at any time once you've got the basics down and then it has a call to action I'm offering a free online presence analysis in three minutes or less that's another really what does that mean statement when would it be a good time for us to talk so you could say is lunchtime a good time for us to talk 
um, you know, when is a good time for us to talk. So these little short statements have very powerful purposes and psychological things working when, when you're communicating and it really helps you to say a lot in less than 30 seconds. And again, it's not about you and I, this is another one and this was real. Um, this came from somebody on uh, local theme jack. I'm a website developer and internet marketing consultant. So of course I'm saying don't say that. Just start with I help local service businesses get noticed online so they get new clients and increase sales. So the person who wrote this actually did say which in turn gets them, which which in turn gets them is just a long phrase meaning so they get the so they get or so you get is much more powerful. Um, they call that the so phrase, you know, so you get. And remember, when you're talking to people, you're trying to make them feel very comfortable. And, and again, we're not trying to sell them anything in 10 seconds. We're trying to get them to talk to us and want to either learn more or meet with you for coffee, or invite you for a meeting, or to move forward in our process. That, that's what we're trying to do. So here's a simple and to the point. I help local businesses attract new customers and increase profits. Would you like to know how? Let's get together on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. I'll happily explain how you can outsmart your competitors and increase market share. That is a pretty powerful little 15 seconds right there. And this actually came, and I wish I would have wrote down the, the names of all the people, but some of them I, I wanted them to be anonymous because, they, you know, they, I didn't want them to feel bad that I edited them. Some people don't like it when you, you know, tear up their stuff. <laughs> like I used to be an editor and in college, and I'd give – students back their papers all full of red and they'd look at it and they'd like some of them would burst into tears and all I was doing was helping them by editing their work to know to make it better so that's what we're doing we're editing to make it better another thing that I wanted to make sure is you don't want to be submissive or meek and this was another person's a friendly person and the idea was that somebody asked them what do you do and they said, thanks for asking what I do. And I said, no, you don't want to thank them immediately. You, want, you can thank them later, but you want to get right into the I work with growing companies who understand automated systems are key to their growth because you want to always be on equal footing with someone, just like a doctor. Don't call a doctor doctor. Call them by their first name. Because when you call them by their title, you're giving them power over you. You know, like if you've ever been in court and you, and you watch them and they're their your honor and, and all this really formal stuff, you know, that, that is happening. Yeah, I watch a lot of Perry Mason, you know, and everything's all formal. You don't want it to be formal. You want it to be on equal footing. Or sometimes you want to be even a little higher than they are, but at least equal. So don't be submissive and weak. I want to talk a little bit about some of my students I'm really proud of. And I don't know if um, Elaine Davis is on the call. She's in Hawaii, and I, I keep bragging about her just because she is an action taker. And I think it's important that every single person, you, on this call, if you took action with anything you've learned tonight, one of the emails, one of the power pitches, and you actually went out tomorrow and used it, do you think you could at least get a prospect or possibly a new client? Elaine Davis learned it on Sunday went to a BNI meeting and a chamber thing and she ended up with three prospects just by 
using the power pitch that she learned. That's the, the power of this. Then we have Terry Hudson. Terry Hudson, um, this was funny because this was a month or so ago. Terry Hudson, he's in Texas, and um, just saying Texas is having awful flooding right now, but he bugged me. He heard about my website presentation and my free gift evaluation form, and I wasn't ready to offer them yet, but he sent me a private email and said, I'm going to have this presentation. I really need it. Um, can you send it to me? And I said, oh, okay. Well, he took it, and he got a $2,500 real estate client, and he got more presentations, and he ended up paying me later for one of the $27 products, and he got more than a 1,000% return on investment from that small $27 purchase because he used it. He took the website presentation, the 21 ways that to make your website rock. He personalized it, customized it. He took the evaluation form. I gave it to him as a template. He customized it, personalized it. Boom. He got, I think he was talking to the first group he talked to was like a rotary club. And he said, oh, I'm really disappointed. Only There were only 10 people there, and four of them had to leave early, so I only had like six people give me the evaluation form. And I said, well, that's not bad. You know, they gave you back the form. You, you captured their name, their email. You, you know what they want. You know what their problems are. And then he ended up getting business. So I, that's pretty cool. And then Yvonne Herbst. Um, I've known Yvonne for a while. But I've gotten to know her better in the last couple months, and she actually is doing a video marketing day, and she had bought the very first product that I did with Jack, which was a video marketing agency, and my bonus, actually probably should have been flipped, but my bonus was how to do make $4,500 in a day doing a video marketing day. Well, Yvonne, she got the courage to approach her local chamber of commerce. And the reason I say that she got the courage is because the vice president of this chamber owns a video production company. So Yvonne went and she said, I would like to do this chamber of commerce video marketing day. They actually put it to the vote of their board of directors. They said yes. So Yvonne is going to do this Chamber of Commerce video marketing day where people will go into the chamber and have videos made during the day. So you know, you're know you compressing all of that value into one location and place to make a lot of money in one day. So what is every single person I ever talk about, what is the big thing that makes them stand out? They are taking action. They're persistent. Even though they're afraid, they do it anyway. They do their homework. They practice. And they have major breakthroughs over time. It isn't like they're going, you know, zowie, you know, five minutes and they're making all this money. But they keep on plugging away day after day after day. And eventually it pans out because they are persistent and consistent. And then Don, uh, Don, um, I think he's in Montana or Colorado. I don't know why I can't remember where he's at. But he wrote and he got two appointments with his power pitch that's here. Hi, and I'll use Jack. Hi, Jack. This is Don Seals. I consult with business owners who are struggling, often frustrated when marketing online. I use potent, proven strategies, custom tailored to your business that can find, attract, and engage new clients and earn more money, even if nothing they have done has worked for them before. So again, this is about 30 seconds, and you can take this and plug in any niche or profession into that. And the cool thing about this 
is find, attract, engage. You know, those are all very powerful words. If you notice that the, the power words are all, of course, action verbs. So, you know, go back to elementary school when they were telling you all about the action verbs. So that is the training for tonight. And again, I'll open it up to questions. And again, tomorrow night, 8 p.m., is the Power Pro 2 members only webinar. And I'm going to be talking about how to put together your own 90 day plan. And I'm, I'm trying to be really realistic on this training because I want you to understand that it does take time I mean, to get 10 clients. I got my very first client, I you know, took, it was probably, you know, like week three into my first 30 days. And then I probably got a client a month, but I really didn't get more clients until six months and I went full time. Because when I was part time, you know, I only had um, maybe three hours. It was the time I had between the time I got home from work at night, which was about seven o'clock until I went to bed. So, you know, maybe 7 to 11 was the time I had to devote. And if I wanted to meet with people, I actually had to take time off from work, you know, take vacation days or comp, whatever they used to call it. I have, it's been five years, so I don't even remember. I'm so happy not to have, have a traditional J-O-B. Um, you know, but I used, I did whatever I had to do because I wanted to stop. I wanted to get off of driving on the freeway every day for three hours round trip. I wanted out of that stress. I, I just wanted to be able to choose what I wanted to do, choose the people I wanted to work with, and I knew that I had to do it. And believe me, I stumbled all over the place in the beginning and now, of course, I can look back and say, wow, if, if I had known what I know now, then I would, you know, probably have a multi-million dollar business, you know. So it, it's just one of, you know, it's that 2020 hindsight that, that we all need. So um, I believe the, uh, if you want to, again, it's, Tomorrow at 8, yes, it will be recorded, but it's only open to Power Pitch 2 members. Um, and let me see if there's any questions here. Um, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what that's a slapped hand from Tammy Jack LOL means. Um, did I miss something? Jack, can you talk to me? Yeah, I can talk. <laughs> so I okay. spoke about this hoster and uh, you felt I took energy the, the, from you away, from your... Oh, no, I, was, I just said <laughs> that I was like, as you can tell, I immediately dropped. I was, because it was like I was, and it was like, like yeah. a balloon, like somebody popped my balloon. <laughs> so, the, so what you told us actually during the training, I, I do because when I, I don't see teachers as higher, higher, you know. I want to learn, and I don't see doctors as higher. I want to, to be healthy. So I, when I have something, I feel free to ask questions and take action so <laughs> even you are a college teacher I feel you know if I have something to say I will say <laughs> oh no it's just that because you know when we don't have a visual you know so I'm just blah 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 into the air you know? so <laughs> it's fine I know. Um, there's a question about, it says, are you just sharing the 90-day plan or will the plan actually last for 90 days? Um, tomorrow, I'm sharing the 90-day plan that you could create. And if you did it, it 
you could make it, it would last 90 days because it's I'm pretty sure it, it's not going to be what you think it is um, like I said when but, I first started out I didn't I was a newspaper editor and a college professor never sold a thing in my life I'd always been the helper trainer teacher that's why I'm comfortable in that role and I had to overcome the fear of being thought of as a salesperson. So, like I said, I have a lot of 2020 hindsight on how to get over yourself, number one, and also the things to do to move yourself into being recognized as the authority. And I have several ways to do that, you know, and, and Again, a lot of the, what I did did not cost money. It cost time. But now I see that if I would it like I have tools now I didn't have like retargeting and Facebook ads and I mean all kinds of things are available today that were not available five years ago. I mean the word for example reputation. I remember back in 2010 looking that that up there was nothing it it was a term reputation marketing and management didn't even really exist um, at all you know so think about t all the things that are that we have at our fingertips today that we didn't have then so you know, so I'm going to show you and help you understand how to accelerate your growth and so that you can have a real viable business if that's what you're looking for is a real viable business to get it, the, it all set up in 90 days with clients so what will be the outcome after those three hours is that you they will have an to-do list and a structure how they can succeed within 90 days? Oh, oh. Yes. Okay. I, I've been working on this and I've, I've got, I, I'm boiling it down to, okay, here's the here's the 90 day plan, here is the, the basic daily activity that you have to do, um, and if you, you know, if you actually do the work, uh, you can expect to have a real business with real client, you know, I would say you could easily have 10 clients at the end of 90 days uh, if you actually do the work. But again, I, I can't guarantee that, but I do know that the people who, um, when we were working in our mastermind uh, a few weeks ago, the people who actually did their homework and I would give them their homework, of course, the beginning of the week and on Monday and Friday they'd have to report back and the people who actually did what I told them to do were reporting that they were getting clients, you know, sometimes one, sometimes two, and if they weren't getting clients, they were at least getting prospects to talk to them. Okay. So it works. So you will discuss what they have to do during those 90 days to set up to become a real business. So and they they have to do something some of course so can you give an estimate a range how much they have to do every day to to um, to have a real professional business after 90 days it depends there the way that okay number one I'm going to assume where I'm going to start them is I'm going to assume that they have a business bank account. I'm going to assume that they're either operating as an individual, an LLC or an S corporation, meaning that they're a, you know, a single um, person and that they have, you know, basically that they have a business bank account with a PayPal connected to it. Uh, because that's really all you need. You have to be able to tell people where to give where to give you money, <laughs> where to send money, or 
how how to write out the check. Okay. You know that okay. that's that's pretty. Not, yeah. Yeah. So so I'm going to assume that you're at that point. You do not have to have. You don't have to have. You know everything. That's where I'm starting, and I'm going to tell you. Okay, this is what you need to do to to change from being Tammy the school teacher or Bill the baker or um, somebody, there's, um, oh, I wish I could remember his name, Leslie the architect, if, if he's on the call, into Tammy local marketing consultant. That's where we're going to start and, and how to become the go-to person and in this case, it, I'm going to say, let's start with our foot in the door strategy being a website with hosting. Okay? Not to say that there aren't many, many other services to offer, but this is what I found, and, and I'll just give you a little of my 2020 hindsight. I tried to offer, the biggest mistake I made was trying to offer too much too soon too big of packages too soon before they they knew who I was and before they trusted me and before they liked me and that slowed me down because here I was doing these big giant twenty thousand dollar proposals when I should have been doing my foot in the door website and hosting proposal which it was you know, would be basically a piece of paper if I was going to hand it to them and saying this is what you get for whatever, $500, $1,500, or $1,000. You know what, you know, understand what I'm saying? I, I tried to be bigger than I was and I didn't have the confidence. And that's why I'm saying if you start small with a simple website and hosting, in the beginning, and not, don't even worry about the continuity part other than the hosting, and then you grow into it, and there's so much, like I said, there are at least a minimum of 21 revenue streams off of a local ThemeJack website that, that, that I found just by looking at it. And I, I've actually, you know, I, 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 I know that I can, you know, go here it is, here it is, here it is. And a lot of people, because I see it in the local theme jack site a lot where people go, well, how do I make money after the website? And there's a lot of ways to make money. But, you know, it's very, that, that's why, I, like I said, I took, I set aside three hours because it's kind of like, you know, one, two, three, four, five. There's a lot of stuff that I'm cramming into it, but of course, they're going to have to do the work, you know, after that three hours, they, you out there in video land, you have to do the work for yourself, And but I think this will give you a really solid blueprint, um, you can call it a blueprint, you can call it a, a road map, you can call it an accelerator system, I mean, whatever you want to call it, the idea is to give you a foundation so that you can grow and the beauty of it is it is after you've got your foundation set, you it goes kind of like into autopilot and you'll you'll know exactly what how to follow up. You'll have everything set up before you ever talk to a person to start trying to make money, you know, it's not like, I'm not going to say, okay, sell, you know, to sell on Wednesday and you're in, you know, I want you to do some foundational work because like I said, I was afraid to sit down and do the numbers because I it was, and so it's like, I didn't know how many of anything I needed to sell. I just knew I need to make $547, you know, that, that was, so I wasn't thinking big enough. But if you actually know where you want to go, like if your goal is 10 clients and whatever those whatever 10 clients represents to you, 10 clients to some people could be 
To other people, it might be $5,000. You know, it could be $2,500. It really depends on what that means to you. So we're going to talk about that and how, um, you know, how to, how to figure all that stuff out and build on our what to say, you know, expand on that. And then, of course, focus, focus is huge. And what services are you going to be, what are you going to be known for? Are you going to be known as the, uh, you know, the website, uh, the person for the websites? Are you going to be known as the uh, reputation person? Are you going to be known for the video marketing or the overall anything online? So, like, you know, so there, there's a lot of factors involved, and I'm, I'm just trying to give you a, a starting point that if you actually did it, no matter what your what your services are going to be, no matter what it is, that you know who you are, who your audience is, what your services are, and what you need to do to get from point A to point B. That sums it up. I will attend. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So, you sold me. You don't want so, to... I do have a business account, you know. I have an LLC, but if you don't have... So, a business account is the easiest thing to get. So, you just uh, go to the to the bank and say, I need a business account. An LLC, I used an uh, online service. It's, I don't know, it's less, must not expensive. It's very, if you are... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the name, but I use, but so, on online service to create an LLC, it's, it's, it's nothing. So those two are pretty easy. Because, you know why Tammy is saying? Because you want to come across professional yes. when you prospect another business and you want to come across like you know the specialist so you, that is why you need a digital team too so you you it is not that you need it for the conversion but all on more that you position yourself as the professional so exactly I didn't I, did, I, I didn't get the training but that's what I do <laughs> well to, to tell you the truth when I started, I didn't have a business account. I didn't have an LLC until 2011. In Florida, it's really easy because you just go to the state and I think you just fill out some form and pay 125 bucks or something. Where they get you in Florida is, is you have to renew it every year and if you miss the deadline, they'll charge you a penalty of $500 oh, or some $400. So, yeah. But the the thing, my point of saying that is it's a mindset shift. If you have a business, like even if it's Tammy Pats or LLC, if you have a business name and you have a business bank account and a PayPal connected to it, number one, if you have a business bank account or a bank account attached to PayPal, it makes it so you can get paid easier because if you can't do ACH, which is a form of transfer of money from a bank, you can take credit cards through PayPal. So it just opens up your opportunities in being able to be paid in other ways other than a personal check okay. or a business so check. So just ask the question, Will of you guys has an LLC, yes or no? So we get a little bit of ID where we are with our members. Who has an LLC or not? Or LTD, yeah, that's fine. No, no, I see a couple of yeses. I see a couple of no. So ink, that's fine. So that's all fine. So we will help you. I, I, I have to look it up. I, I at the moment I cannot remember the serves I used, but uh, it's very it's very simple. To set up an LLC is very simple. And, right, and different states have diff different rules. Yeah, but but you go my point is just that 
if you're serious about this being your business and not just a hobby, then you want to set up yourself as a business and um, I, you don't have to learn how to do like bookkeeping and things like that does not have to be any big formal thing especially if you only have one or two clients you it isn't like you have you know this big bookkeeping nightmare it's when you grow that you have to you know you have business uh, you have to grow with your business but to get started so what I'm actually focusing on I'm not going to be focusing on creating the business structure again like I said I'm going to start at in where I'm assuming you are ready to have a real business how am I going to position myself so that you become the obvious expert yes. in the business and I used indeed legal zoom it's I will uh, it's very easy legal zoom it's very cheap and it just submit it okay so that's that's pretty easy and in, in Canada, I don't know, should be corporation registered in Alberta. So, you know, we are all in the Facebook group. If you have those kind of questions, put it in the in the Facebook group, and you get ten responses on it. Um, do you need PowerPits one? Do you need to buy PowerPits one before PowerPits two? No, you don't need. Um, they, they really, they, they're comp. What they, what Power Pitch One is, it is an expansion of of part of Power Pitch Two because it was such an important part of knowing what to say to get people out of their shells and being able to eliminate some fear. The, the Power Pitch Two is more foundational. And it has a lot more in it about um, structuring how you're going to develop your business conversations and grow your referrals and grow your your base. Um, so so it's a, it's a much more it's a lot deeper and especially with this blueprint, it is a lot deeper than. I even originally planned for it to be. <laughs> okay, I mean. so um, so now I understand the training also better. So it is actually in training to provide you a blueprint to set up a real business within 90 days. So if you are struggling to structure your business and um, want to uh, want to have guidance about the things you need to do to um, to become to to be a professional local internet marketer, correct, Tammy? That's the goal. Right. So the, to, the, the, yeah. Right. The focus is. If you want to be a local marketing consultant, um, however, you could take the same information and use it to help you grow any business. But the fo our focus, of course, is to become a local marketing consultant. Okay, so it's more clear to me, and hopefully, your you, your guys too. So tomorrow workshop starts at 8 o'clock will be a long workshop I know but you get a lot of content to structure your business and to become a professional internet marketer so any questions about that and otherwise we close the call So with that said, uh, I really thank you guys for uh, for your time, and I will be on the call tomorrow too to benefit from Tammy's training. And uh, I love to guys to see you too because 
the goal from Tammy and me is that you guys succeed but we need your participation in it okay so if you want to succeed we will provide you the, the training to succeed so uh, thanks everybody for your time I appreciate it and I love to see all you guys tomorrow on the training thank you so much